What is going on guys? Eric here from Bolts and Banter with another review video and today we have this launch C Reader Elite that launch was nice enough to send us and we are going to be testing it on this 2005 Honda S2000. Before we go ahead and do that, I'm gonna quickly unbox it and show you guys what you get inside. So while I unbox this, I just wanna talk a little bit about the launch brand. So there are quite a few scanners out there that you can purchase. In the entry level market, there is a flood of scanners and launch does things a little bit differently. So launch has quite a few scanners from beginner scanners, pocket ones, all the way to fully fledged wire wireless scanners that look like tablets and this one is an entry-level unit but what is really cool about it is for the price point you get a bi-directional scanner now a lot of other scanners in this price point will claim to work on many makes and models and while that is true they don't feature any bi-directional functionality this one has that bi-directional functionality with the only con being that it is suited for Hondas only. You can buy this particular scanner in many forms. They have a Honda and Acura version and they also have a Lexus and Toyota and Scion version. This one's the Honda one, so it will only work on Hondas. Even though it only works on Hondas, you do get a bi-directional scanner and this is probably one of the cheapest bi-directional scanners you can buy. Form factor wise, it looks like one of those portable hard drives that is rugged so it has a hardened rubber case on it and this one is a touchscreen again for this price point it is hard to find a scanner that is touchscreen a lot of them will have physical clicky buttons this one doesn't and it is about the size of an iPhone or a little bit larger than that even the buttons to get to the home menu and the back button are touch don't get a carrying case but the box is good enough for you to put the scanner back into it and keep that on the shelf while you don't need it i think for a diy guy who works predominantly on hondas and acuras this will be good enough for you for example if you have a honda and an acura in your garage that are getting kind of old and you want to do the work yourself and not have to pay a dealer or a shop to do it for you this will pay for itself in about two uses all right so let's get this plugged in let's get the s2000 powered on and let's do a couple of basic functionality tests to see what this launch scanner can do C Reader also comes with a user manual. Very important to read that. Now it's important to note that this launch C Reader has Wi-Fi functionality, so you can update it. Also has a slot here for an SD card, which is not included. But All right, we got the launch scanner plugged in. This does not need any type of power. It is powered by the OBD2 port. So upon startup, a lot of these launch scanners will ask you to set the language. And I believe there's also a menu to select your region so that way you can get time and it will ask for a wi-fi network i'm going to go ahead and just speed past all of this but again this is very important all right so we got the wi-fi connected the time has adjusted itself accordingly all right let's skip the workshop information we don't need to do that let's agree to the terms this is really simple to use one-handed it's almost like using a large android phone these are android based so if you are familiar with android os typing and getting work done on this will be very very simple all right so let's go ahead and check out the diagnostics first and like i said it only comes with honda and acura software preloaded 16 pin dlc we are in the usa it's fairly quick to retrieve vehicle information it accurately got the vin number for it and the model year that is correct and let's go ahead and check out the health report Got it. Engine is not running. That is correct. And let's give it a moment for it to load. All right, this is gonna take a while, so we will come back in a bit. And once it's done, we'll review what the report comes back with. All right, after a few minutes, it is almost done running the health report. And now it's checking for rear cameras. Another cool feature about this health report scanning is you can put it on pause and then go back to other menus if you don't wanna wait. All right, so from the health report, we can enter into these two systems. Let's take a look at the immobilizer system. 
This C reader actually allows you to program immobilizers and keys. This is really cool. Again, this is an 05, so you would expect a scanner like this to have that functionality, but it also programs newer keys, which I think is a great feature to have in this price point. We're not actually gonna program any of the keys today because we don't wanna mess up the key system, but there we go. You can check out the immobilizer info and check out it, the system. So let's switch it on then off just to quickly check the system and make sure this is working the mobilizer system is normal nice and let's take a look at the key number and the key type which would help you purchase keys if you are looking to program it so it says there are three keys in the system already that is correct we have two main keys and one valet key and let's see the key type key type one so if you were needing to make new keys for this particular honda the scanner can show you that information. Let's take a look at the engine system. Nice. So we don't have any fault codes, but let's go ahead and read that just to make sure. No trouble codes. Cool. All right, so that does it for the first function that we're going to test. We're going to go all the way back to the main menu and take a look at some of the other stuff. So another thing I wanted to talk about before ending this video is the mall function. Now that's why the launch scanner asked to hook up to Wi-Fi when we first connected this to the OBD plug. There is a mall function where you can purchase additional functionality for this particular scanner. It's a really cool thing that launch does. Not a lot of brands do that in this price point. A lot of the times you'll pay $120 for a scanner and that is it. You'll get some sort of updates by the manufacturer Manufacturer, but those updates need to be on PC and not over Wi-Fi. This has the ability to add other functionality for other makes and models. Of course it is paid, but it does allow you to unlock other brands. So for example, if you wanted to add a Toyota functionality to this, you can. So let's just go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Toyota Lexus would be an extra about $40, and that will unlock the same type of functionality that you get when you buy this for a Honda and Acura, but now with Toyota and Lexus. Again, that's a super cool thing that you don't really see a lot in scanners of this price range. When you buy other scanners that are comparable in price to this, this is about 120 bucks, you will only get the functionality that ships with it, and that's it. Last but not least, let's take a look at the upgrade just to make sure there is no software that needs to be upgraded. Looks like there is, so let's go ahead and see what it's like to update this. The launch website says that it comes with free updates, so if they are indeed free, let's go ahead and update them. Let's see how quickly this updates. It's now downloading. I have this connected to my personal hotspot, so it should be decently fast. And we will come back after speeding up this video. Successfully installed, okay. Nice, and we are back in business. There's also a function here to check the data logs that you logged in the diagnostics portion of the scanner. And the last thing that we're gonna take a look at is setting. It is metric from the box, but you can set it to imperial. There's also a brightness setting here. That's nice. And let's see, anything else? There's a network there. All that, super nice. I also want to say that this scanner is a very nice scanner with the touch screen and the touch buttons. A lot of scanners in this price range have those annoying clicky buttons. And this software looks good and it performs very well. It's not as clunky as some of the other scanners that you get. Again, I think this is a very good deal considering that Instead of paying for universal functionality, you get your vehicle specific functionality or rather your make specific functionality and you get a cleaner interface, a fast one, and you get the bi-directional functionality along with it. That is my hot take on this C Raider scanner. Again, it is a very good purchase if you are working specifically on Hondas and Acuras. It can clear your codes, it can help you diagnose any issues you may have, it can program keys, so it is super nice for what you get for about $120. Definitely recommend you taking a look at this and adding one of these to your arsenal if you're a DIY guy that needs a scanner that is bi-directional but won't break the budget. Once again, guys, I'm Eric from Bolts and Banter with this review video. If you wanna see more review videos just like this, don't forget to like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to Bolts and Banter. And check us out on Instagram at Bolts and Banter as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.